Hello there guys, my name is Dishan and in this video I will be explaining the various aspects of simple GUI using our last week's mini project, the rock, paper, scissors, spot and lizard mini game. I hope that in the making of this video you will all be able to easily understand the mechanism of how to create our next mini project that is the guest number game. So let's begin. Okay, so we are on Code Sculptor website, Le but first let me open the Rock Paper Scissors Lizard and Spark project. This is our first mini project, and when we run it, we get the output as we are supposed to get. Great, but what we see is that we are not interacting with the game, so we need to make a lot of modifications and let me first run the interactive version so you can understand what it actually is let's run it okay so I have a canvas here with the rocks pock paper lizard and scissors button let's go and hit the rock button I choose rock the computer chooses pock and so the computer wins computer gets a point one if you see I also added a scoreboard so it keeps track of my score as well as the computers so right now I'm losing which is tad oh no rock cho I choose rock the computer chose paper and he it won again let's try something else scissors paper I win paper rock I win again Spock and scissors I win again so you can see there I'm interacting with the program and it's great so let's close the canvas and we'll also modify our code so let's again rerun our previous code great running it again we get this and by the way uh, when I chose Spark as well as the computer chose 2 I got an error that's because I haven't exactly coded it well, quite well. So I just modify it. It's a tie string. A tie. And let's run it sometime. Great. I choose paper, computer chooses paper, and it's a tie first we need to remove these inputs because we are not going to need them we are going to input them I'm removing these comments great I have I need to import simple GUI first of all otherwise it won't work and let's create a frame frame equals to but first let me check the documentation of the frame simple GUI dot create frame simple GUI dot create frame I think that's it ah uh, no there's an underscore create frame and now we input our label RP SLS then we input the canvas height and canvas width great so let's run it first and there we go we have a canvas let's close it and we are going to need to add some buttons so let's add a button button 1 equals to frame dot let me check it once again control objects and we are going to add a button dot add button rock that that's what it's going to appear when we click on it and we are going to have to add a button handler so I'm going to name it rock as well but first I won't be able to run it because it will give me an error that rock function has been def defined so let's define it def rock parentheses and colon don't ever forget that 
and now we are going to run rpsls function over here with the player choice of the string rock so there so in this way we are going to input the string rock into the game logic and let us run I guess it will work great see the rock thing will appear over here now let's click on it I choose rock the computer chooses lizard and the player wins great let's try it once more it's a tie computer wins again player wins player wins and so on so forth so let us close it because we need to add more buttons but well I can just keep it ahead because let's add let's load another instance of the website in a similar fashion we have to add four more buttons which I will just skip it and just throw it ahead paste it rather let's load it so as you can see I have five buttons and before that I added a label of choose so what it does is just print a message of choosing a button like choose a button and when we run it again a choose a button string appears so let's just simply paste it and then we'll see our buttons in place let's run it again um, okay Spock is not defined as you can see so we have I ha also have to define Spock so like we have defined rock in a similar manner I have to define Spock paper lizard and scissors we are going to call all of them to the RP SLS so since we are having some similars I'm going to explain it one by one when we press button one on the rock uh, we are going to run the rock function where it calls RP SLS with the string rock and the player of choice gets substituted with rock similarly when we press the Spock button it runs Spock it runs Spock and then RP SLS launches with the parameter Spock and so on and so forth so I'm just simply going ahead to copy and there you go these are all defined and let's hit the run button again okay the canvas loaded well I choose rock computer chooses paper computer wins I choose Spock computer chooses rock player wins paper scissors computer wins lizard rock computer wins again the computer won but how do we get to know the score this is where I have added another a global variable one is called the player score I've initialized it with zero and the computer score comp score which is zero so every time it launches it gives it is initialized with a zero value and then let's initialize it with over here player score equals zero comp score equals zero okay we have defined a global variable now where do we add it the best place is to add it over here but before that we have to mention over here that our variables are global so we first type global and then we mention player score and we can also add another comp score great so now our PSLS recognizes the global variables so over here whenever the computer wins I add another piece of line that is com score 
plus equals one now this is a shorthand which means that whenever computer wins the computer score will increase by a single sorry the computer score will increase by one it's also similar to comp score plus one and I hope you knew this so I'm just revising it and let's return it back to how, we, how I prefer so let us also do this for player underscore player score plus equals one great now we have to print it after the end of the conditionals so let's print score then we concatenate the string form of our player score otherwise we won't be able to get it get the output then a uh, colon and then string comp score great let's just increase our coding area we don't need much of that great so let us run again I hope there won't be any more errors now one more thing is that even though our program runs perfectly well without the frame dot start option or rather the code of line we must add this because in later uh, interactive programs it is going to create some problems so we have added the frame dot start and let's run it again okay rock I choose rock computer chooses paper rock and paper so computer lost uh, I mean one I lost and so the score is now zero one let's try it. paper it's a tie note that the score has increased and now you can all understand how the code works okay so we have now come to the end of the video I hope you have enjoyed watching it as well as understanding how to implement simple GUI and I also hope that this will help you to do the guess the number game with the interactivity thanks for watching